Hello everyone. My name is Arvind Panda. I am a fourth year student from UPS Dehradun. Currently, I am working as a legal intern in Lexus and Company for the month of June. And today, in this video, I am going to talk about conspiracy under law of thoughts. So, ever since we have started to explore the new sense of law, we have studied conspiracy as a criminal offence. Conventionally, the word conspiracy means secret plotting for committing something unlawful or uh, torturous which causes turmoil to the social order and causes instability in the society. Most of the jurists are of the view that once the conspiracy is hashed or initiated, it increases the probability of the offence to be committed, for which the conspiracy is done. Now an important question that confront us is, should the act of conspiracy also be considered under torts? The question has created a whole lot of confusion during the last century. The main stumble before recognizing the act of conspiracy as a tort is the confusion about the cause of action. In such cases, the cause of action cannot be defined or not is unclear. Now, let us talk about conspiracy. In simple language, the act of conspiracy means a secret plan to do something which is unlawful in nature and also which is harmful. So, uh, according to the nature of conspiracy, it may be classified as firstly criminal conspiracy and second is uh, civil conspiracy. Talking about cr criminal conspiracy, the most famous type of conspiracy is criminal consp uh, conspiracy. Generally speaking, the act of criminal cons uh, conspiracy is defined as two or more than two people uh, agreeing to do an illegal act or offense together. In India, historically, uh, the act of cons uh, conspiracy was considered as a civil wrong, but later on it was brought under the preview of Indian Penal Code. In the amendment of Indian Penal Code of 1860, uh, so now let us talk about Section 120A of IPC. It states that the definition of a criminal conspiracy is when two or more than two people are involved and agreed upon firstly to do an illegal act, secondly to do such act which is illegal by nature or means, that is the legality of the means is the main issue. Now let us talk about uh, torts of consp uh, tort of conspiracy. The most famous definition of tort of conspiracy was given by Lord Brampton in the uh, landmark case of Quinn versus Latham. As a law student, we all have uh, learned about this um, uh, this case. Now, a conspiracy uh, is an unlawful association of two or more uh, more than two person to do an act which is not legal according to the law, uh, law of land or to do something harmful towards another person or to carry out an act not uh, in itself unlawful but and by unlawful means. Conspiracy can also be understood as a partnership between person where they come together to commit or involve themselves in the planning of some act. Now let us understand with this with an illustration. Suppose there are three people. Mr. A, Mr. B and Mr. C. Now B and C undergo an argument agreement that clearly establishes that they are, uh, they are agreeing on the proposal of doing fraudulent act towards Mr. A. In such a case, this can be said to be a kind of tort of conspiracy or civil conspiracy. An instance where conspiracy is done to the pursuance of wrong, uh, wrongful act of civil nature can be said to be tort of conspiracy. Now uh, let us talk about um, uh, now let us talk about the types of conspiracy, uh, conspiracy under torts. Now we'll uh, uh, discuss the different types of to uh, conspiracy under torts. Uh, the first is general torts, followed by conspiracy to in, uh, injure, and thirdly in, uh, is known as unlawful means conspiracy. So general uh, conspiracy in an unlawful illegal association of two or more than two person in pursuance of an act which is cont uh, contrary to the law and is harmful uh, to other. For example, during an act by the actor, a certain group of people start to hiss or to start boycott a particular actor, then the intention or the purpose of the act become relevant. Second is conspiracy to injure. This kind of conspiracy is also known as crofter conspiracy. As the doctrine has emerged in this case of Crofter Hand Woven Harris uh, Tweet Company uh, Company Limited vs. Wettage. Now, let us talk about the unlawful means conspiracy. This, uh, this type of tort involved an agreement between two or more than two parties, wherein at last one of them agrees regarding using unlawful means against the claimant. Now, 
uh, as in India uh, was under the rule of British Empire, the law involved in India traces back its origin to common law in England. Similar is the case with the torts of law in India. However, the field of conspiracy under tort needs to uh, be more development in India as it is a very nascent stage. Also, the major issue with the tort of conspiracy is that only a group of people can be made liable under this but not an individual. The point here is that uh, suppose if there are five conspirators in an act and three of them are not proven to be guilty, then the other two would be not be convicted by the court of law. Thus, the uh, tort of conspiracy need many development reform and enactment. So that's all for today's video. Hope you all like it. Thank you so much.